We often get asked, how do I take a soil test? Hi, I'm Gary Zerner from Ag Solutions, and today we're talking about the simple process of taking a soil test in a pasture situation. So when we take a soil test, we often use a soil test probe, but you can simply take a soil test with a shovel and a bucket. The important thing when taking a soil test is that we need it to be a random sample. So when we sample a pasture situation, we just want you to take a shallow soil test, so from zero to 10 centimetres. This is because in a pasture situation and for foragers, most of our activity or nutritional issues and relationships that we're concerned about for a pasture happen up in that zone. So if you're taking your soil test with a shovel, for example, one of the key things is that we still want to take that zero to 10 centimetre sample. One of the things I suggest to people when they're taking those samples with a shovel is that when you dig up that dirt, try and take the soil from the front of the shovel so that we avoid any contamination from rust or paint, etc., on, on the shovel. When we take a soil test, it's important not to go into the paddock and dig up dirt from one spot. Why? Because this area may have been contaminated previously from fertiliser or there may be manure or urine in those areas. So when we take a soil test, we simply go across the paddock diagonally or zigzag across the paddock, any way to sample that paddock to ensure that we get a random sample from all areas of the paddock. When we're soil testing in a pasture situation, we like to avoid gateways, water troughs, areas where supplements may have been fed, because these areas can often have a dominance of manure. So when we take a soil test, it's simply taking a shallow soil test, going across the paddock, selecting soil from a number of different areas. Typically we want to take soil from around about maybe 20 locations across that paddock. People often say we've got a lot of different soil types in a paddock. When we look at a paddock, if there are massive changes in soil types, for example from a heavy black soil to a light sandy loam ridge, there may be a need to sample those areas differently. This is because there will be massive differences in nutrients such as magnesium and phosphorus. But typically speaking, across a pasture situation, although there may be slight changes in soil types, it doesn't mean we need to test those areas differently. The other thing to think about is how do we run or treat that paddock? If that paddock is grazed as one or fertilised or managed as one unit, then we probably want to incorporate all those slight changes in soil type in the one sample and, and take a random sample. When you receive a soil test kit from Ag Solutions, it'll have both instructions, all the packaging and labels for that soil sample to be collected and sent away to the laboratory for testing. One of the pieces of paper you'll receive in your soil test kit from Ag Solutions is what we call a paddock sheet. Now the paddock sheet and the background information you supply us is even more important than the soil sample itself. Why? Because it's the background information that you tell us about that paddock that really gives us a lot of insight into how to develop recommendations in a program for that paddock. The things we're really interested in is what's the background of that paddock? How has it been performing? What soil type is it? What's the slope? What's the history of the paddock? What's growing there? What's grown there in the past? And what are you planning to do with that paddock in the future? This information is really powerful in conjunction with the analysis that comes back from the independent laboratory that we use for soil testing. So when sending a soil test away for, for testing, it's usually a two to three week turnaround. And this is the process required for postage, getting the results back from the laboratory and for Ag Solutions and our technical field advisors to develop up a pasture nutrition program for you. So when we're developing a nutrition program for your pasture, we're not just looking about the nutritional aspect, we're also looking at the soil structure and the soil biological aspect of your soil as well. Because there's certain pieces of information that a soil test provides us that gives us an insight, not just nutrition, but also tells us a little bit about what your soil structure and biology is doing. Many of our clients start their livestock nutrition program for a soil test. So a soil test in a pasture situation is not only shedding light on the pasture nutrition, it's also giving great insight into where do we need to go from a livestock nutrition perspective. So if you've got further questions about how to take a soil test on your property for your pastures, give Ag Solutions a call on 1800 81 5757. And there's also information on our website at agsolutions.com.au. I'm Gary Zerner. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.